where does the time go? Right now, there's an anniversary party going on in Miami, Florida, celebrating 10 years already of the amazing race. And now we're on to the last leg of this season. Host Phil Keegan is in Miami this morning and is joining us to talk about the upcoming two-hour season finale that airs over on KRQE this Sunday night. So excited for that. Welcome, Phil. Thanks for being with us. Well, of course. It's very nice for you to let me uh, talk about the show. I'm very excited about the finish. And we're very excited to be celebrating 10 years down here in Miami. And what better place to celebrate than down in Miami? They're, they're, it's a party town. What it can I sure say? It sure is. It's absolutely a party town. And it's a, it's a fun place to be and really worthy of a celebration. I mean, we're down to the final four teams now. What's going on? What's some of the drama you can fill us in on? Well, all the teams have a great story. You know, this season was all about unfinished business, and believe me, all these teams have unfinished business. Mm -hmm. Keisha and Jen, one of the most famous pee stops ever on The Amazing Race. They, mm -hmm. they stopped for a pee break just before the pit stop and got <laughs> eliminated. Zev and Justin lost their passports when they turned up to the pit stop first. They were kicked out of the race. Gary and Mallory, who got lost in Oman, very unfortunate situation. And then flight time in Big Easy, the Harlem Globetrotters, uh, they took a four-hour penalty after they couldn't work out the Kafka challenge in the Czech Republic. So yep. uh, they've all, they're all there with a strong motivation and a good chance of winning the race. I think they're pretty evenly matched. And uh, they're going to be coming in from a uh, follicle-ripping challenge in Brazil Ooh. all the way through to uh, Miami. And then uh, a lot of water challenges in through the Miami area for a great finish. Oh, great. And then on to the pursuit of the million dollar prize. And what I love is that this year, especially such diversity in the relationships of the teams, you know, you're seeing teammates, you're seeing father, daughter, you know, you're seeing such diversity, which I love to see. Yeah, Amazing Race, I think, is probably the most diverse uh, reality show out there. We've always prided ourselves in having difference this season. Like you mentioned, very diverse. And say Margie and Luke, and Luke, who, who is deaf and who won the very first leg of the Amazing Race that he was ever in back mm -hmm. in season 14, where he and his mother ran in, uh, which was a great moment of Amazing Race history. Every single team, yes, we, we really pride ourselves in having uh, a good representation of the diversity of America. It's not just about how well you can sing or dance or do one particular thing. This is a real mixture of everything. Exactly. And you yourself rode across America in a 10 city tour to raise money for people with multiple sclerosis. Tell us real quickly about that. Yeah, it really was motivated by the idea that I was turning 40, so I took on the biggest physical and mental challenge of my life and rode from L.A. to New York over a period of 40 days, 3,600 miles, 100 miles a day, to coincide with the uh, finale of Amazing Race 14, actually. We raised over 500000 for MS, wow. and uh, we, we created a film, and I'm just finishing tonight the last screening uh, of, of the film. Uh, which is called The Ride, because I couldn't think of anything more original. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so it's a, it's a film that's downloadable as well that people have been watching, and we've been raising more money for MS. And where can they see this? Uh, if you just go to NoOpportunityWasted.com, okay. you can see a trailer there, and, and you can see where to download it. But tonight is our final screening in Miami, so I don't know if you want to whip down and see the film, but... Oh, I'm on the next plane. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Bill, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for 10 great years, and we're looking for 10 more. The two-hour season finale of The Amazing Race airs this Sunday night at 7 on our sister station, KRQE News 13. Thanks again, and we wish all the teams lots of luck. Thank you so much for having us on today. Thanks, Bill. And we're back with some exquisitely comfortable living after the break. <laughs>